What's going on YouTube? It's Quinita Charnel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know this setup looks a little different than what you're used to, but we're changing it up a bit today. First of all, we are making jello shots. Yeah! It's New Year's Eve is around the corner and my cousin has asked me and entrusted me to bring some New Year's Eve festivity treats. So you already know I had to dust off the jello shot recipe one time for the one time. You wanna see how I make my jello shots, which are not for the weak at heart. These are strong. Please stay tuned. Let's get right to it. Okay guys, my recipe for jello shots is real simple. All you're gonna do is pour in one cup of hot boiling water into your portable measuring cup. Next, you're gonna add one packet of your three ounce jello, which is typical unless you get a double pack, but we'll talk about that later on. Once all your jello is in the container, go ahead and stir. You want to make sure all that jello gets dissolved so there's no granular pieces or hard pieces in your jello shots. Nobody wants crunchy jello shots. Once you're done stirring, we're going to add a half a cup of ice cold water. And here's a tip, if you're doing this kind of at the last minute and don't really have time to wait, put your tub of cold water in the freezer. It'll take maybe 15 minutes for it to get super cold and then you can continue on. Huh. Next is my favorite part, the liquor. Yes, the liquor. <laughs> what you're gonna do is add one full cup of liquor into the mixture. I know other recipes tell you to only add a half a cup or a half a cup of water, half a cup of liquor. Nah, sis. Nah, bro. We are adding a full cup. As you can see, I lifted that over the container so that y'all can see I meant a full cup. Fill it to the brim. Okay? Once everything is mixed together, go ahead and give it a good stir. Reason why I mix so long. I want to make sure this liquor meets this jello and this jello meets this liquor like hey how you doing we about to work well together we about to make this happen we about to be delicious together yes so I want them to get well acquainted you hear me and once you're done mixing all we have to do next is put the mixture in our shot glasses or shot cups whatever you want to call them vegetable oil sprays to keep the shot from sticking to the bottom of the cup let it sit and then you're good to go a few moments later As you guys can see, I am not skimpy when it comes to my jello shots. I don't believe in giving a half a cup 
unless you're putting some type of topping on top of it but if not fill them up okay we are here to get a shot i want a real shot so fill them up to the top Now maybe it's just me, but I really and honestly feel like putting the lids back on jello shots after you have filled them up is an art within itself. I don't know how many times in the past I have dumped trays over because I put too much pressure. See, see, there go one right there. Put too much pressure on top of another, but I did not spill any of these, so I was quite proud of myself. Take your time though, guys. Oh, and don't think I forgot about you. If I'm gonna give you a recipe, I'm gonna give you the whole recipe. Now, if you wanna make a double portion because there are six ounce packets of Jello out there, very same process, just a couple tweaks. First and foremost, you're gonna start with one cup of the boiling hot water in your pourable mixing cup. You're gonna add your Jello, and then you're gonna add another cup on top of it. So it should be a little bit above the two cup range. And you know how we do, y'all stir. Then you're going to add your mixture to a bigger bowl because since we're doubling the portion, it's not going to fit in our regular bowl. So continue to stir to make sure all that jello mixture is dissolved. And then we're going to add my favorite part yet again. Well, first, cold water. <laughs> my bad, got ahead of me. Got ahead of myself, got ahead of myself. Then we're going to add my favorite part, the liquor. Now, before we were doing one full cup, this time we're going to do a cup and a half. And if you're like me and close to the end of the bottle, honey, just dump all of it. Just just dump it. There we go. Dump it. I like that. Dump it. Dump it. <laughs> stir. Y'all know how we do. We stirring out here. And then you put it back, half of it back in your pourable mixing cup. And you put it in your cups as follows. That's really it. All right. We're making jello shots. I have my little helper. What's your name, little helper? Kai. Kai. Rainey. Kyrie Rainey? Yes. Okay. And he is my stir and my pourer for my mixture. And this is what we have done so far. Raspberry, blue raspberry, green apple. Okay, and then green apple and blueberry. That's right. And then what are you making? Oh, I'm making yellow, um, yellow lemon. Yellow lemon, that's right. Keep stirring, good job. Now please understand he is helping me. He is not consuming any of these. He is just strictly my helper. Isn't that right? Yes. That's right. Because you're not allowed to drink alcohol, right? No. That's right. And what's going to happen? I'll get him in a lot of trouble. <laughs> if you drink alcohol on oh, my watch. <laughs> I will be dead? No, you won't be dead, but I will be. <laughs> you be, you be dead? Yeah, because your daddy's going to kill me. Okay. So you are just helping me stir. And he's doing such a good job. All right, guys. So we will come back and yeah. show you. Uh huh. We'll come back and show you when we have poured the lemon. All right, guys. We are on our lemon flavored vodka, and I have used absolute raspberry, and I have used Baranoff green apple. So oh, blueberry. Far. Right, and we got blueberry shots. So. Very simple, like I said, just pour these in here. My little helper is my camera person, so if there's any kind of shaking or anything going on, because my little helper <laughs> is recording for me. And in case I didn't mention before, make sure you pre-spray your cups, so that way your shots don't get stuck on the bottom, even though most people eat them out anyway. It's all about consistency with me so I like to make sure they are done correctly. And this is the final result guys. I let mine sit for 48 hours but after a couple hours you're good to go. But drink responsibly and have a wonderful new year. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh.